Hello guys, this is Universal Giant, and welcome back for more of Let's Play Mother 3. In the last episode, we pulled our very first needle! And in this episode, we don't really have an idea of where to go, so we'll just hope that the game will tell us where we're supposed to go. Whoa, 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 hold it right there! Just who do you think you are, and where do you think you're going? That's not very nice of you, the squeaks. I say we teach you a lesson. Well, that was easy. Strange that they throw such a weak enemy in our way. I humbly apologize for my rude egotistical attitude despite being so weak. Back on the highway, I was known as the hippest cat around, but now I'm just a pathetic excuse of a mouse. All the girls dug me, but I'm definitely no fighter. But you helped me remember who I really am. I wonder if my wife and seven kids I left on the highway are doing okay. Whoa, I'm suddenly feeling homesick now. I'm going back. Yeah, I'm going back. Anyway, dude, I'm heading back home now, but watch out for them mole crickets if you keep going east. Again, so sorry. So, that's the father of the seven mice children that we located on the highway earlier, and the his wife gave us the shield snatcher for Boney. And speaking of nostalgia attacks, whoa, whoa, whoa! So, you kept true to your promise and finally came to the mole cricket hole, huh? It's me, it's me! Don't you recognize me? I'm the mole cricket you fought at Alex's place when you were play fighting with the Dragos as a little kid in the very first episode! I've been training for this day for all these years. Okay, let's go. The time to battle has come. Follow me! So he's really been sitting on that loss all these years, holding a grudge against us. The mole cricket. The first enemy we encountered. Now his pride is on the line, and we're here for a rematch. So he walks us past the ropeway station, and back to the waterfall. <laughs> here it is. This is where you and me are going to fight it out. This is where my right hand would be raised into the air when I'm declared the winner. And this is also where you're gonna hit the ground with a thud. This is the place. Mole Cricket Hole. I'll widen the hole a bit for you to fit through. Come on! So this is where he lives. I guess we don't have a choice. We'll follow him down, and... This place looks a lot like underneath Stonehenge in Earthbound. Something that looks like a lotus root is blocking the path. That's okay, I'm going this way. Hello, Mr. Mole Cricket. We're the Mole Crickets. We dig holes and live in them. We're exceptionally proud. Hey, you're just like the moles. Except you're crickets. Oh, glad to see you didn't wimp out on me. This here is our elder. I've asked him to be the judge for our match today. If you try to run away or do anything cheap, neither of us will sit by quietly. Just to let you know. Anyways, I've got special rules for our match. If by some chance an outcome isn't reached after 10 minutes have passed, we'll go over time, which lasts 5 more minutes. And if a conclusion still isn't reached after that, our Elder will decide who the winner is. Elder, is there anything else you'd like to add? Wait. You folks truly, seriously going to fight him? Take my advice. Sometimes the bravest thing to do is to run away. But you insist on it? In that case, I won't stop you. You ready to do this thing? Let's go for it, baby. All right, I guess I have no care for your own life. The bell is wrong! And here we go. This guy's a lot stronger than you might expect to, so let's just go all out on nuking this guy. How about, uh, freeze beta? And, Boney, just do your thing. Or not. Only two experience points from that, too. I mean, what did you expect, Mr. Mole Cricket? That's enough. That's enough. We give up. To think that such a mighty Mole Cricket warrior could be so easily defeated. Perhaps Mole Crickets aren't so powerful after all. I'll meditate on what else this means at a later time. But for now, the match is over. I suppose the traditional thing to do now is to be on good terms with you. So let's be friends. Is there anything you need? Actually, yeah. Do you know where the needle ceiling and the dark dragon are? We're looking for them. We mole crickets aren't very knowledgeable creatures, but call it a hunch, I think could be such objects to mysterious objects on the mountain on the far end of this mole cricket hole. I figure that's what the Elder wants to say too. 
He's hard to read sometimes, though. Yes, I agree. The mountain. Go through the mole cricket hole and head up the mountain. I'm certain that's what you must do. The mountain, huh? We don't have any other leads to follow up on, so let's check it out. Oh, hey, you guys don't know anything about the Dark Dragon itself, do you? Sadly, we don't. We really are just mole crickets. Even though he's our elder, he's still just a mole cricket, too. We have no real strength at all. It's a pity. The very least we can do is help you by eating the lotus roots blocking your way and other things like that. Wow, a dragon. I bet it's really incredible. It must be incredible indeed. I've learned so much today. A dragon that sleeps underground, needles that seal it away, us being surprisingly weak. Living a long life is worth it. Do you suppose you could tell us mole crickets about even more things? Uh, kind of busy. Sorry. I see. I figured you might say that. I guess we'll try to learn about all sorts of things as we study them from afar, then. I hope that's all right. To start off, I'm thinking of starting a business in our own unique mole cricket way. Please stop by if you ever happen to see us. Oh yeah, if you're gonna go through this mole cricket hole, you should take my little bro with you. He's little, but he's a tough one. You can treat him just like any other item. Hey, little bro, come here! And we receive the mole cricket brother. If you get lost in this mole cricket hole, just ask my little bro for help and he'll bring you straight back here. Right, little bro? Come on, bro, get your act together. The bad news is he's kind of lame and hates the sunlight more than anything else in the world, so be careful, you can't take him with you outside the mole cricket hole. Right, little bro? Not that we'd ever need to use him, because all he does is just bring us back to that spot if we ever get lost, so... Now we can eat away at these lotus roots, and the lotus root doesn't look like it enjoys it too much. Let's see if these mole crickets have anything to say before we head out. Here, I'll give you this unbelievably accurate yet unhelpful map. Yeah. Accurate, but completely unhelpful. We are going all the way up there. And once again, this is the Mole Cricket Hole. Good luck reading that map. This Mole Cricket Hole is really big, you know. You're gonna get bored fast if you don't do pointless chit-chat with us. No kidding. Mole Crickets know everything. Just about everything ever. Like how to dig holes and how to win fights. Uh, I think you only know how to do one of those two, and this is a green one. Crawl, crawl. Save your game. Oh, you're a frog! Yeah, you're right. Only frogs can save games. Anything else is just a cheap imitation. I guess that's one way to think about it. It's not much, but I feel a little rejected. Aw, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. But I don't like saving on screen. So let's head further down here. Always have a little trouble getting in here, but you gotta sort of weasel your way on through and... Have the mole crickets eat away at this lotus root. And we're gonna have to figure out how to get through this hole. So hopefully one of the mole crickets will tell us. You want to get to what's on the other end of this mole cricket hole? Everything over there is mysterious for some reason. I'm not brave at all. I'm too scared to go. I'm not, though. If there's a turn, turn. Even if you don't want to. Do that, and you'll eventually reach the other end of this mole cricket hole. Have faith in yourself and proceed not straight ahead. Time for another song. It's a twisty, turny road, but it's not the path I chose. I don't complain, just grin and bear it. As you go down that twisty, turny road. It's not the path I chose. Who chose it, I wonder. Da, 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 da. Whatever there is a turn, be sure to turn, no matter what else happens. Turn it every turn. Do that, and you'll never get lost. So what we have to do to make our way through this hole successfully is to turn at every single opportunity. And it will take a little while, because this is a fairly large mole cricket hole. But if you turn at every opportunity rather than going straight ahead, you will make it to the end without getting lost at all. Now, I do feel like leaving in this trip because I want to mention that you could have done this event first. You could have gone through the Mole Cricket Hole before you went to the Chimera Lab. And if you do that, then you will not have Kumatora on your party because you would have had to go to go through the Chimera Lab to pick her up. And one of the mistakes I made when I first played through this game was that I decided to go through the Mole Cricket Hole here first, and I didn't have Kumatora with me when I went up here. Now, Kumatora is very, very helpful where we're going because she has elemental PSI techniques that are strong against the enemies we will face here. And the boss that we're going to face at the end is very difficult if you don't have Kumatora with you. 
When I tried to do this on my first playthrough without Kumatora, uh, it didn't go so well, and more details on that when you see the boss himself, but for now let's just make our way through here, and we're getting pretty close to the end because there aren't any other paths for us to take except this one wide open room, so we just head straight up here, and we will eventually reach... No cap mountain. And the winter's music returns from Earthbound as well. Personal favorite of mine. But this little fella's gonna leave. Well, I guess this is where we part ways. I don't have a name, but remember me sometimes as a, being a pretty cool guy, okay? If we ever got lost in the Mole Cricket Hall, like he said earlier, he would just bring us straight back to where we fought the Mole Cricket. Welcome! I'm surprised anyone would come to such a cold place. I love the snow, I wouldn't mind coming here ever. And of course we're going to encounter some new enemies. This one is the Ten Yeti. Now as you can imagine, since this is a snow area, he is weak to fire, as are all the enemies here. And of course he's more powerful. But the fire techniques we know should do a decent number on him. There we go. So let's head further up the mountain and we'll encounter some new enemies that I probably should have healed up for. The Chili Dogs! Now if I didn't stress it before, fire attacks will strike all enemies on the field. So just go for it. And of course they know ice techniques. and definitely have to heal up Lucas on the next turn. That is, if we have to. So we've got a nice level up out of that, and we can continue our way up the mountain. I love how everybody is leveling up at the same time in a secret herb! That's wonderful. Present will find some double jerky, first one we've run into. The double jerky restores 160 HP, it's very helpful to have. So let's have Lucas heal himself, and continue up the mountain. Run into another 10 Yeti. Like I mentioned before, if you have three members in your party, these are not difficult battles. The 10 Yeti did something pretty interesting in that battle that I've never seen before. It actually picked up the Chili Dog and swung it around for pretty massive damage to both Lucas and Kumatora. That was neat. And occasionally over here or in other areas in Snowcat Mountain you'll run into a rare enemy that I've personally never seen before. But if you want to fill out your battle memory you'll have to run into it eventually. So who is that for? What do we even pick up? I can't remember things! Cancer Bracelet, let's give that to Kumatora. And there we go. We got a couple of items in our inventory that we should probably sell off. So more chili dogs. And let's heal up Lucas a bit. And continue further up the mountain. Unfortunately, we don't get to hear this music as long as I would like. And way to learn a new PSI technique. Right before I sneak up behind an enemy, you had to learn a technique. But as we approach the very top of the mountain here, I'd say there's a problem here. Hello, welcome to Snowcap Mountain. I'm the snowman that Lydia made. That's right, Lydia's not too far off, but unfortunately it's going to have to wait for next time. So, this is Universal Giant, and I'll see you then.